You seem pretty calm. It's almost streaming off of you. A lot calmer than you were on Paragus when I first met you. On Paragus, you seemed, well, a little less at peace with yourself. Now you're different. It's hard to explain. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Ithorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. Very well. I'll let him in now. Perhaps Choda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. No doubt informed you. I am John Aluso. I understand that you were approached by an Athorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. 
Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B-44 will know what to do when you arrive. Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism? It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation, and I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability, for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do her a disservice by not speaking of this while she is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still... There is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Makes sense. I'll follow your lead. 